Happy Pride. Hello, welcome back to my channel. So it is Pride Month, meaning it is the one month a year that mega corporations pretend to care about gay people so they can make money off of them. Not to be a nihilist, but like, let's be honest, that's the point. And so I thought me as a YouTuber, I can make money off of the companies making money off me. For those that don't know, I'm bi slash queer. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm switching labels, but also I've just like identified as bi for so long that it's like, my brain still kind of reverts to it, but I think, like, technically I am queer. Um, this isn't a coming out video because that is not a secret. <laughs> I've liked girls since I was, like, 10. So, anyways, I figured I'm gonna do one or two of these this month where I just kind of rank, review, roast companies' pride collections because sometimes a lot of them make some atrocious shit for the gays. Today's victim is Target. Now, um, some people might notice my shirt is from the Target Pride collection. <laughs> Listen, I saw it when I was at Target the other day and it's cute and it's actually really comfortable, okay? But I'm on their website right now and um, it's very vast, okay? The stuff I saw in store is not all they have. They have a fuck ton actually. So let's get over, let's get over, switch, switch camera and um, start roasting. All right, we are on target.com. We're in the pride section. 356, there's 356 items. Let's see, what is Bullseye's Playground? I'm actually, I'm curious about that. Are these little sets? Wait, this is cute. I'm confused as to what this whole separate section is. What is Bullseye's Playground? <laughs> Bullseye's Playground at Target, refresh your home. So I, oh. The one spot that grab and go mecca? Starting this week, fan favorite section. Oh, so they're just changing the dollar section to bullseyes, I mean, whatever, that's cute, okay. Um, so, starting here, we have this little intersex little collection. There's a pack of socks. There's little flags. I don't, is, uh, is the peacock uh, relevant to intersex or were, was someone at Target just like, yeah, that's a flamboyant bird. <laughs> Let's give it to the gay people. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with this. Cute, I mean, it looks, the sunglasses are, oh, that's cute, it's a little bag. Okay, uh, I have no issues with this, actually. It's pretty cute. I wish they had it for more things. They only have gender, queer, and intersex, which, not complaining, you guys deserve stuff too, but I want something like this. These, okay, this is, I can't really roast this. These are just flags. So let's get out of this section and see what else there is. I have to sneeze. So this is all adult stuff. I like that they don't separate it by gender because that would kind of be defeating the purpose. Um, starting off, I also bought this shirt at Target. Um, it's so, it's so cute. Busy thinking about girls and it's just like a simple, cute little screen print. I mean, come on. Come on. So far, Target's going strong. I'm pretty sure they have some cringy stuff, but this is good. This is like a nine out of 10, okay? <laughs> Next is, uh, Ew David. It has a bunch of flags. Going to be honest, um, I don't understand the difference between this one and this one. Um, I don't, I mean, oh, it's from Schitt's Creek. Um, never watched it. Maybe there is someone out there that, you know, fucking loves Schitt's Creek. But, uh, this is just one of those kind of cringy, sorry if you're a Schitt's Creek person, but, you know, it's a little cringe. It's like one of those shirts that, like, a relative gets you after you come out that you like maybe you're not really close to and they're like at the mall and they pass spencers and they're like oh my god it has it has its flag on it let's get it you know um i would say six out of ten i like the font the font is helping a lot but other than that not for me rose apothecary locally sourced handcrafted with care 
Um, this is just a Target shirt that they changed the color of the flower to with a rainbow. I've seen this shirt before, like, with the regular print. Um, it's a cute design. I would say I would like it better if they didn't just, like, overlay a rainbow on it. Like, if they did, like, a normal stem and normal leaves, but then made the different petals like the pride flag, I think that would have been a lot cooler because, I don't know, like, the rainbow almost throws it off with, like, how it's laid on to the print. I like how it is the all-inclusive pride flag, not just, like, the plain rainbow. It also has the black and the brown. Um, I mean, yeah, it's cute. I'll say 7.4 out of 10. And I like the diversity with their models. <gasps> oh, bitch. <laughs> Oh, I love these gals. Oh, this is a 10 out of 10. Actually, it's not because I don't like tank tops that are like this, uh, like the, the fit. I don't like how long it is. If it was like cropped or if it was tighter, I'd be into it. Um, that's the only thing stopping it from being perfect. Um, the print looks a little rough, I guess. But you know, love the girls. I don't have anything else to say. I love Trixie and Katya, so this is cool. I'm glad that they are including, like, actual um, members of the community instead of just, like, throwing a rainbow on things and calling it a day. Um, so this is cool. And it's cool to see, like, random, like, a casual drag merch in stores. You don't really see that often, except for, like, I guess, what, Spencer's and Hot Topic, but you don't go to those every day like you could Target. I would say 8 out of 10. Another... Uh, wh what shit's Creek about? Is this... Is it a gay show? Why is there, like, so... <laughs> so many, like, shit's Creek gay shirts? Rosebud Motel Vacancy. Um, I like this one a lot better than the Ew David shirt. I'm not a fan of the cut of the top. Actually, I take that back. I like, I, I like it. <laughs> I mean, it's still, it's still just like the rainbow text. We did it. We helped the gay people. Um, but I actually, I do like this. I like the font. I like how not everything is in rainbow. Um, this, it's actually pretty cute. So I would say I'll give this one a 7.8 out of 10. Trans rights are human's rights. Oh, I love this. I love the color. I love the font. I love the placement. No qualms. Uh, good job. <laughs> good job. You tie dyed a t-shirt. 10 out of 10. Adult two spirit. Two, uh, sorry. Pride adult two spirit. I really don't want to mispronounce that. So I don't want to risk it. Um, fluid project short sleeve shirt. Two spirit. What is this? A gender identity in indigenous culture held in, held in high regard and considered sacred or divine. This is cool. This is for pride? Is Two-Spirit like a an LGBT thing? Two-Spirit people held important positions like matchmakers, shamans, and warriors. They exhibited balance of both masculine and feminine energies. This is cool. I like this. I really like how the, the screen print. I like... The color, I mean, I like the fit. Okay, apparently that is an LGBT thing and it just has indigenous origins. That's really cool. I like that, like, that's finally getting some recognition. This is probably one of the most, like, genuinely, like, aware, socially aware things that I've ever seen a Pride collection do. This is really cool. 10 out of 10. I like their hair. Uh, we got the stereotypical proud or pride or move I'm gay type shirt. Um, I like the colors, to be fair. It's not like the stereotypical, no offense, obnoxious rainbow prints that companies tend to do. Um, and I like the font, but other than that, I like their, I just want to look at their tattoos for a sec. Can I get the models at? Um, yeah, I'll say, God, I don't want to be mean. I mean, for what it is, listen, this is pretty much, like, this is a standard, slightly above standard of like, we made a shirt for the gays. I'll give it a six out of 10 because it, it does vary, you know, it, it variates or it deviates from the norm with the shades and the font. But, um, this is pretty 2016. I'll say that. Adult Marsha and Sylvia fluid project. The fluid project is killing it. I don't know what that is, but I, I really fucking like it. So we have Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. 
queer liberation movement was led by trans women of color. You have sick tattoos too. We're starting getting their models. Yeah, th that's really cool. Ten, I mean, ten out of ten. <laughs> so far, so far, Target's not given me anything to really dig into yet. I'm hoping we can. This can't all be nice shit, okay? That's not how I work. Sure. I guess anything with a rainbow is now actually gay. In all seriousness, uh, I like the color. You know, it's summer vibes, obviously, because they're fucking swim trunks. But, I mean, yeah. They're swim trunks. Cool. 8 out of 10. Okay, we got some tops. I'm just going to review these all like this because I don't need to click on every single picture for some bras. Um, not for me, but, you know, if that's for you. For me personally, I just really don't like when a brand is like, let's market to gay people. The only personality trait gay people have is being gay, I guess. So let's just slap a rainbow on it and call it a day. Um, so I don't really gravitate towards things that are just like a rainbow and I'm expected to love it, which is, I guess, a little hypocritical considering this shirt. But listen, it's not just a rainbow. And also there's like multiple shades of each color. There's like light, you know, there's... The I, I like it. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> um, so I would say 5 out of 10. Uh, I would give this one... I liked it better on the trunks. I'm going to give this a 6.4 out of 10. And I think this is cool. I'm not a fan of this shade of purple, but I like the color blocking. So I'm going to give this a 6.8 out of 10. Ooh, what is this? It's a word search. Oh, this is fucking sick. Oh, this is so cool. I wish they had done more, um, maybe more words. It seems like the only thing is love is love, pride, humankind, which is the brand. Is there anything else? Oh, and love wins. I feel like they could have done more with this. I feel like they could have put maybe some identities. Um, but I, I fucking love this idea. So I'm going to say 8 out of 10. Swim tank. Um, I mean, again, it's just the rainbow print, if that's your thing. Cool. I will say I like it down the side. I like the placement of it. Um, and I like that this is a swim top. So it's just like, uh, it's gender neutral. I like that. Um, I will say six out of 10 though. Just again, like the rainbow thing. Um, and I'm going to give these a 5.9 out of 10 because of the length of the shorts. Ooh, this, okay, this is cute though. I know this is going against my whole rainbow thing, but this on the sleeves is fucking adorable. This is a whole, this is a unisuit? Bitch, I want this. I want this, actually. This is really cute. Nine out of 10. I really like that. If I see that at Target next time I'm there, like I might, I might have to get it. <laughs> do I need a bathing suit? No, but do I need a unisuit? Fucking maybe. I don't know. Uh, this is for the dancing queens of the ballroom scene for the queer lovers and everyone in between for the rebels that fight to forever be seen. This is for community of rainbow dreams for the rule breakers designing outside of the seams for the indigo children made of star dust and moonbeams. Pride blue poem. Is this like a thing? What is this? <laughs> Like, what is the origin of this? I want to know the origin of it. It just comes up with the target thing. Um, I mean, I will say I like the font. I'm a little confused with the gaps in the bag. I don't know if they were trying to make it look like that, um, that type of poetry where you like take a book page and like block things out. Um, but I don't think that's it. But also, I mean, is it supposed to make a shape? I don't know. So I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Um, I mean, I it's a tote bag. Gotta love a good tote bag. Is the, <gasps> the stitching is rainbow. That's actually really fucking cute. I love that. It's a good subtle touch. Um, I will say, I regret to inform you, I do think the quote is a little cringy. I like the idea, um, but I feel like, I don't know. I like it for what it is. And I feel like that's the best thing I could say about it, is that I like it for what it is. Um, so I'm going to say 7 out of 10. It's really not that bad. <sighs> okay. Um, <laughs> I really wish that the shades they chose were different, maybe lighter or like a similar iridescence to this. 
because I like this idea. I like the clear bag. I like the strap. And I, I don't know. I don't even hate the colors, to be honest. I'm just trying to think like you, I don't, you can't do something like this. You cannot do this with another pride thing. I feel like this is almost a statement piece to where you would need to do like black and white outfit, like no designs on it or else it's just like, or else the bag becomes too much. But if you use the bag as like a pop, then I don't think it is the cringy rainbow thing that it is. And that's all the best I could say about that. So I'm gonna give it a 6.6 .6 out of 10. I'm gonna, okay, do y'all care if I skip the plain black with rainbow shit? I mean, it's plain black with rainbow. At best, it's a six out of 10, okay? There will be few, there will be some exceptions, right? Like this down here is already catching my eye, but give me a sec, okay? A pair of thieves. This is cool. They look comfortable. I actually fuck with this. It's, um, it reminds me of, why am I blanking on the artist? None of these names like sound right to me, but I am thinking of a particular artist that this reminds me of and it's pissed me off. I can't think of it. Um, but I do like this. I like how it's pride, but it's also like a subtle thing. I mean, the save for like the waistband, but like it's cool. Uh, eight out of 10. Sure. I fuck with this design. I fuck with this design. Is it another instance of me going against my plain rainbow thing? Yeah, but you know what? If your design is fucking cool enough, then I'll be a hypocrite all damn day. I don't care, okay? This is a cool design. Um, this is a nine out of 10. I really fucking like this. I might uh, have to get one. This one. I fuck with this one. Oh, I fuck with this one. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Give me something ugly to make fun of. This one, I am conflicted on. It's almost another one of those things where I wish they had done two separate shirts. If you wanted to do the basic ass, I'm here, I'm queer thing, then do that elsewhere, okay? Because this, not a fan of. This, big fan of. Uh, if they had maybe even just done the queer thing elsewhere maybe if they had done it on the sleeve or like up like um like just written up here in black i feel like would have been cool i feel like they should have done a different font um or they could have done different colors don't love it i like that okay i i see what it's doing how it's also the inclusionary pride flag because this is the stereotypical rainbow and then it also has the trans colors and the black and brown um so i like that but I just, I'm sorry, I will never look at a shirt that has in big, bold rainbow letters the word queer and think, that's cute. I want that in my closet. But I, I like the attempt. I like the idea. I really like this design. Um, but I just, I don't like it together. So I'm going to say 5.9, 5.8 out of 10. Sorry. Love is not a crime. 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 Um, yeah, this is okay. It's again, it's one up from like the we're here, we're queer, but it's, it's fine. I like that it's not on a plain black or white shirt. I like this shade of yellow. I like how the letters are not filled in, how it's like more of an outline. Um, and I like that each individual letter is not a color. You know, I don't know, 6.4, that's fine. Show me some ugly shit. I'm just gonna start skipping around until I find something ugly. Found it, it's right here. <laughs> I like the idea, love the font, I have to sneeze, but this bright obnoxious ass red is not doing it. But other than that, I think this is cool. She, her, they, them, he, him, us. <laughs> like I get, I like the idea you know, pronouns, it's all cool. I really like the color choices. I really like this color and this color. I like that again, not a basic rainbow, um, but that fucking firehouse red is killing it. Um, so because of that, this is a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Love is my religion, peace is my state of mind. Um, this feels in a weird way, kind of tone deaf to be like, love is my religion when like a lot of religions are against gay people. I don't know, not that Target needs to make a shirt that's like, fuck Catholics. <laughs> Cause like, that's not what I'm saying, but I don't know. It's like kind of um, deflective 
in a way. So I don't love this. This is something that someone says when they are like not as woke as they're pretending that they are, you know, or they're like not as, I guess, left leaning as they like try to act like they are. This is absolutely something you would see on an Instagram infographic shared by the white girl in high school that also bullied you for being gay, but now she's like changed. Um, and she lives by this, but like, this isn't really like, I don't get pride from this four out of 10. What the fuck we got going on over here? What? Oh, this hurts my eyes. What a colorful world. Okay. That's cute. Um, the design. Okay. I don't want to be mean because I really enjoy the attempt at including like a lot of flags, a lot of people. Um, I feel like there was a better way to do it that was easier to read um, and didn't hurt my eyes. Five out of 10. Ooh, this is cute. Oh, this is fucking cute. 10 out of 10. I like that there's, is this weird to say? I like that there's old people models. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, there was a way to make a long dress with the lesbian pride colors and make it stunning because the lesbian flag is pretty, right? It's not hard to go wrong with uh, with the color palette you have to work with. And they went wrong <laughs> with the color palette they had to work with. Um, yeah, wow, you could have done a lot here and you didn't. 2.4 out of 10. Uh, not a fan of the top area, not a fan of these sleeves. I feel like if you had done thinner or spaghetti strap, if you had just like done it different design, like, no. <laughs> I think this is the worst thing we've seen so far. Let's look in a different section to close off. Home and outdoor, sure. Ti <laughs> Tired and gay. This is so cute, actually. This rainbow speckle, the font, this is fucking cute as shit. 10 out of 10 on this one. I'm not a fan of this design. I get what they're going for, that kind of like abstract line art thing. And I do like the embroidery. Um, but I feel like the lines are like too thick. Cooler bag, do something today for a better tomorrow. <gasps> this is cute. Bitch, was this on a shirt? What the fuck? This is great. I love this. It's a cooler bag. Oh my God. I can, bitch, I want this to pack a lunch in and go take a picnic at Zilliker Park. I'm gonna fucking round up my gaze. We're gonna go do something today for a better tomorrow. This is great. <laughs> see, look at this. Hold on. This is the design from earlier on a better background. See how much fucking better this is? Target. You don't need to put the Target red in your clothes. These are so cute. These are, co is a felt coaster a smart idea? I feel like those would get mildewy, but I love this idea. I love the colors. Again, love the font. This is so, I love this. Oh my God. I might have to cop these if I see them. All right, let's uh, let's end on a bang. Look at the Pride Pets collection. I'm gonna do some shopping for my dogs because they are gay. <laughs> Sorry, not to enforce, uh, you know, roles or stereotypes, whatever the fuck. My dogs are gay, okay? They are gay. Boys, <laughs> these are my sons and they are gay and they are in love. And that's okay, except for the fact that they are siblings. But you know what? These are, I love my gay sons. <laughs> Do you want some rainbow sweatpants? <laughs> They're leg warmers for dogs. No, look, you have to look. The pride tennis ball. You guys want some gay balls? <laughs> because you guys are gay and don't have balls? Come here. Oh, this is cute though. This is for cats, but actually I feel like Sage would love that. Sage has cats. Another cat thing. Ooh, that's cute. <gasps> the little bees are so cute. What? Any more dog things? Transgender tiger dog plush toy. I'm gonna make my dogs trans. <laughs> now that's forcibly feminizing them. That's, see? Even something like this on that fucking ugly ass dress would have been better use of the colors. Anyways. God, what if I just invent an elaborate backstory where one of my dogs is trans? <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> oh, I love this. I just know that there is some people mad at this. I know that they're the fucking crowd that doesn't like um, telling like younger kids that gay people like exist. Um, I know that they're fucking pissed at this shit. They're turning the 
fucking frog's gay. Oh, this, oh, this is so great. Oh my God, fuck it. Fives is trans now and Cass is bi. So that's it. That's the, st there's two pages. <gasps> Bitch. Um, that was this video. <laughs> Fives, you want to be in the outro? Do not sniff mommy's cooter that was this video if you liked the video like the video if you liked the video comment on the video and if you liked the video subscribe to the video maker and also let me know if you want a part two to this video i'm kind of already planning one but i need um confirmation that you guys would want one there's a lot of listen i want to tackle levi's i want to tackle spencer's um and whoever the fuck else if y'all have suggestions let me know but yeah, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.